welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Well, the mayor of Anaheim fancies his city as a kind community, a one where neighbors get along with each other and businesses have an easy go of it. And here to tell us more about his uh, folksy rendition of community mm -hmm. <laughs> is the mayor of Anaheim, Tom Tate. You know, it's kind of a, a funny way to look at a city, especially a city that has such a strong standing in Orange County and across the state and throughout the country. But what do you mean by this? Well, it's, uh, you know, we, we talk a lot about kindness in Anaheim and, and putting kindness as a core value. And under that, uh, a, a policy we, we have is uh, called the high neighbor policy, which um, really is kind of threefold. One is uh, community policing. You have to know who is in your neighborhood to know maybe who doesn't belong. Um, and also to look after, you know, maybe that, that young kid who might uh, uh, be led astray. So neighbors, not just parents, need to be uh, looking after the neighborhood. Second, emergency uh, uh, preparedness. Uh, when that big earthquake comes and we're one day closer, uh, the neighborhood needs to be prepared. You need to know that um, five doors down is the 80-year-old widow whose roof might have collapsed. Mm -hmm. And it's up to the neighborhood uh, to dig her out, frankly. Mm -hmm. so, so there's a big emergency preparedness aspect. But, uh, but the third reason, probably the most important, is, is a sense of community that we're all looking for uh, in Southern California. Uh, that, that might have been lost a little bit. Um, so that that 80 year old widow, uh, maybe the 14 year old five doors down is taken out of trash. And maybe she's imparting some of her 80 years of wisdom on that, on that 14 year old. You know, you said another way uh, to create this kindness is to make the business environment a little more friendly by rearranging regulations, making it easier for businesses to operate here. Well, we, uh, the other aspect uh, that we're talking a lot about is freedom and uh, putting freedom as a core value. And under that, we've uh, established a regulatory relief task force. A uh, 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 brilliant professor at Chapman, a guy named Tom Turk, is heading the task force. There's about 14 members. And they're going through our regulations and deciding which ones are the, are the job killers or the, the dream killers of entrepreneurs. Um, so uh, they're going through those. And Wh which ones have you found so far that are highly suspect? Well, and unfriendly to business. There's, there's a bunch of them. There's mm -hmm. a bunch of them, and and a lot of a lot of them are not uh, city ordinances, uh, unfortunately, but they're interpreted by uh, city staff. So uh, uh, we want our staff to interpret our these regulations in, in a, I guess, through the lens of freedom and kindness. It sounds like a reasonable review, even uh, statewide. It seems legislation gets piled on top and never really reviewed to see how effective yeah, it is uh, continuing to be. You're right. also a big picture kind of guy. You're saying that Anaheim may be a big place, but if you really look at it, Orange County is even a bigger place, and we have an important presence throughout the state. Well, you know, uh, I guess it, it came to focus uh, going after the NBA team and going to New York, and this argument that uh, there's three teams, shouldn't have three teams in Los Angeles. Well, there aren't three teams in Los Angeles. There's two teams in Los Angeles and we're, we want one team in Orange County. Mm -hmm. And when you think about Orange County, three million people, if Orange County were, were a city, uh, we'd be the third largest city in the nation. Mm -hmm. It's more people in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't think three million people should be looked at as a suburb of, of anywhere, to tell you the truth. So. so kind of a rebranding, really, for Anaheim and Orange County, because Orange County is really proving itself not as an also-ran, but as right. its own entity. Right. I mean, I want, you know, maybe 50 years ago we were a suburb, but not anymore. And if you look at, you look at uh, central Anaheim, when you look at Disneyland and our convention center and the stadium and the, and the uh, Honda Center and then the new uh, Arctic, uh, kind of the Grand Central Station, train station, uh, in a very tight area, there aren't many places in the world that have that many people coming to it on an annual basis. I think it's something like probably 20, 25 million people. Right. Mayor Tom Tate of Anaheim, thank you so much for being here. Leslie, good to be here. Thanks. And thank you for tuning in. More HLN next.